What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Weekly Ranking Show, where we go through the top 10 for the men and the women during the week. We've had some big changes in the top 10 over the last seven days. Let's go have a look at them. All right, starting with the ATP, and we have Novak Djokovic stays at number one, but Daniel Medvedev, he drops down to number three, and Rafa Nadal claims his spot again at number two after winning in Barcelona last week. So Medvedev, he drops down to three, still only just behind Rafa. Then we have Dominic Team at number four, Stefano Tsitsipas at number five, Alexander Zverev at number six, closely followed by Andre Rublev at number seven. Roger Federer is at number eight. Diego Schwartzman is at number nine. And close behind him is the Serbia Open champion, the number 10, Matteo Berrettini. Let's go have a look at the ATP race to Turin. And Stefano Tsitsipas, he is still on top, having won the most points in 2021, followed by Rublev at number two. Djokovic comes in at number three. Daniel Medvedev at number four. But Hubert Hercatch, the Miami Open champion, he drops down one spot after Aslan Karatsev got to the final in Serbia last week. So he's a new number five and her catch is number six. Yannick Sinner is close behind at number seven and we have a new number eight. Rafa Nadal after winning the Barcelona title he flies up ten spots into the top eight at number eight. Alexander Zverev drops down one spot to number nine and Roberto Batista Agu also drops down one spot to number ten. Let's go have a look at some of the players that have risen up the rankings this week. Yannick Sinner, he goes up one spot to number 18 in the world which is a career high for him and Karatsev after beating Djokovic in Serbia, he goes up one spot to equal his best career ranking at number 27. Some of the players that have dropped down the rankings over the last week, we have Fabio Fanini. He has dropped down another spot after being defaulted in Barcelona, of course. He's now at 28 in the world. And Nick Kyrgios, he drops down another spot to 56 in the world after not playing again. Let's go take a look at the women's top 10 for this week. We have Stuttgart Open champion, Ash Barty. She stays at number one in the world. Followed by Naomi Osaka at number two. Simona Halep is still at number three. Sophia Kennan at number four. With Alina Sp Alina just behind at number five. Bianca Andreescu is number six, followed very closely by Arena Sabalenka at number seven. Serena Williams, she's at number eight, with Karolina Pliskova at number nine, very close behind. And Petra Gravitova, she drops down two spots out of the top ten, with Kiki Burton's going up one spot to round out our top ten for this week. Let's go have a look at the race to Shenzhen, and we have a new leader for the ranking points for this year, Ash Barty. She goes up one spot, taking the number one spot from Naomi Osaka after winning the Stuttgart Open last week. We haven't seen Osaka play since the Miami Open, so she drops down to number two. Muguruza, she stays at number three. Jennifer Brady, she stays at number four. But we have a new number five, Arena Sabalenka, after making the final of Stuttgart last week, getting some big wins under her belt. She goes up to number five in the race to the finals. We have Elise Mertens, she's staying at number six. Kudamatova has dropped down two spots to number seven. And we have a new number eight as well, after Svetolina having a great week in Stuttgart. She rises up three spots to take the eight spot with Jessica Pagula going down one spot to number nine and Serena Williams also dropping down one spot to number 10. Some of the players that have reached career high rankings this week on the WTA we have Makova. She goes up two spots to number 20 in the world. First time ever in the top 20 for her. And Kuda Matova after a couple of really good weeks she goes up another spot to number 28 in the world which is a career high ranking for her. Some of the players that have dropped down this week both the Croatian women have dropped down. We have Martic going down three spots to number 24 and Vekic also going down three spots to number 34. She is still recovering from injury. So there you have it. There are the rankings for the ATP and the WTA. Let me know down in the comments below. Are there any surprises for you? Maybe some surprises of who's in the race to Shenzhen and the race to Turin. Let me know down in the comments below if you are shocked by anyone or if you're wondering where somebody is because there are some players that haven't performed great at the start of 2021, which is why they're not in that top 10. So we have some changes for the men and the women's top 10 this week.